As an engineer, we are expected to be the pioneer in discovering technologies to help us in our studies. Before even using social media, we've already been using stuff like Dropbox, where we share files with each other. Essentially, I started using Facebook groups as a platform for discussion, particularly in any areas where I'm not clear in my studies or in my subjects, I can actually engage my other classmates to help me, sometimes even my lecturers also. Internet has become a very great technology to me. It's like my main source of information nowadays. And uh, if I have certain questions that I would like to know, I would be embarrassed to ask my lecturers about. I would actually Google it up or wiki it so that I would understand about the topics. I would actually use YouTube to understand finance topics better because YouTube actually has a number of tutorials and lessons and animations to actually simplify the topics that we learn in university. We have Friendster, we have MySpace, and now we are moving on to Twitter and even Facebook. These are stuff which we feel can essentially help us in our studies. For instance, in my group project work, sometimes I find it so difficult to get hold of my members. I text them and call them, they don't even pick up. But on Facebook, they're there all the time. So we started groups like this and then we came together. It's easier for us to make discussion, everything is recorded, um, it's easy to retrace back. Basically, that's endless potential in using social media to help us in our studies. Technology is highly relevant because for now itself, I can't imagine a world without technology. I need my computer to actually do my assignments, to find for sources. I need it to entertain myself. I need it to communicate with others because in the future, it's going to be a paperless world. It's going to be based on technology. And if we don't embrace technology now, speaking as students, I think we'll lose out in the future. My project is all about bridging the gap between the lecturers and the students. Uh, essentially, students nowadays, the youth, this generation, Facebook is part and parcel of their life. To improve the learning experience of a student, the lecturers should essentially embrace this new culture, this new revolution in education and try to get down to the student's level of things to make it easier for them to interact and communicate with each other. Actually, I have established a group on Facebook. It's called Peer Learning Group. I would actually share certain information that we'll find uh, related to our studies on the group itself. It actually helped to encourage students who are really shy to ask or to consult our lecturers to learn more. When you're with your peers, you tend to be less shy or tend to be less afraid of asking questions. So hopefully this group would encourage communications between students, between my peers. My wish list is just basically to embrace the new technologies and the innovations available. One of them is using iPads in learning and teaching. Why not make it fun and exciting for the students as well? For instance, using Angry Birds to teach physics, whereby we can actually calculate the angle of displacement, velocity of a particle and so on. Who says that learning can't be fun? and exciting for the students. I wish for a faster internet connection. Perhaps there'll be more hotspots in the campus. And I would actually wish for a more technology-friendly culture whereby we can bring in laptops, tablets to the lecture or tutorials. We can jot down notes or basically do our tutorial questions at live or communicate with our lecturers or our peers through technology. When learning meets technology, it becomes engaging and fun. We should embrace the power of the future. <laughs>